Hey man, team, keep it clean. This is just so good for the Baltimore Ravens. Things just keep getting better and better and better. This team has been through it this year for sure, especially when it's come to injuries. They have had guys end up missing significant portions of the regular season and even some in the postseason too, but then they've had some guys miss the entire remainder of their seasons with some more significant injuries. But Marlon Humphrey, Marlon Humphrey has had a crazy year this year because he started off this year, had the foot injury before the season even started, so then he had to miss like four games, then he came back, and he was back for a little bit, but then he ended up going out again, and he had the calf injury, then he came back, and then he went out again, and it was just a whole mess, but now Marlon Humphrey has returned to practice and that's such a beautiful thing because you're going up against the Kansas City Chiefs team this this week that is the team with they got it all they got the coach they got the quarterback they got the experience they got the accolades they got the rings they got the MVPs they got it all and they are a team that's not gonna be easy it's going to be an extremely tough game but the Baltimore Ravens just got that much stronger for what is going to be a very, very good one. Team Keep It Clean, I appreciate y'all. Thank you. I love y'all so much. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're getting closer and closer, inch by inch, to getting to 74,000 subscribers. And we'll be there soon enough. Uh, no rush, but make sure y'all keep subscribing to the channel and keep telling your friends and family about it, which I appreciate that y'all do because word of mouth is everything. And also, leave a like on the video because it helps out the channel a ton. Like, it, it really, really does. When y'all help out the channel, y'all help so many people out. And just with your positivity, too. In the comment section, y'all help me, y'all help other people. And, and people read those comments. People see how y'all speak to each other with respect, with courtesy, with kindness, and all that. We still have fun, but we keep all those things involved well, while we speak. So I, I appreciate the fact that y'all been doing that, and y'all been doing that for so long. And people that's new here, y'all do. People that's old here, y'all, I, I appreciate y'all like crazy. So thank you for everything that y'all do. And, and also... The heart of the city clothing, you know. Thank you for everything that y'all do because y'all been really putting us on uh, with these run to Vegas hoodies. And we trying to run to Vegas. Ravens got to run to Vegas. They got to make that trip. And not as visitors, but as people hosting, people that's part of the event, obviously being the Super Bowl. But if you want your run to Vegas hoodie from Harder City Clothing, go to the link down below in the description and use code Engraven to get 20% off. Now, last night... Last night, I did a stream with the best Ravens content creator out there, my guy Noah from For the Flock. And he brought up a really, really good point uh, about Marlon Humphrey potentially playing in this game. And he said, with well, Marlon Humphrey, him being a physical corner, uh, that he could possibly take on Travis Kelsey in the slot. He could cover Travis Kelsey in the slot. I said, oh, well, I didn't think about that before, but that is a good point. But also, I, I brought up Kyle Hamilton, how Kyle Hamilton could cover Travis Kelsey in the slot. Of course, they could mix and match and whatnot, but... My point is, with having Marlon Humphrey back, that gives you and your roster, your team, that gives you so much more flexibility in your secondary and really just your defense as a whole. Because there could be some plays where you're like, all right, 44, go get Travis Kelsey. There could be some plays where you're like, all right, 14, go get Travis Kelsey. There could be some plays where you're like, all right, 10, Arthur Millette, go lock up Travis Kelsey. Let's get it, baby. But anyway, um, you got more options the more health you have the more options you have so having Marlon Humphrey back is a beautiful thing a beautiful thing and then we can stop hearing all the comments for people saying oh well wait, he got time to go on his podcast but he can't make it to practice oh stop it please let's uh, let's go ahead and dare that right now because Marlon Humphrey is officially back somebody else who has continued to be back is Mark Andrews and you know again the more the merrier. Mark Andrews has continued to practice. He practiced today. Uh, he was probably a, a full participant last week too, though. So practice recently ain't nothing new for Mark Andrews, but they're really letting him get in the groove of things. They're really taking their time with this injury, and that's something different than what the Ravens had done in the past. And I was just on today uh, on the Ryan Ripken show. Shout out to him. I was on there with him, with my guy KO, Kevin Ostriker from Locked On Ravens. Uh, Zach B, who always got viral tweets going like crazy. Uh, my guy um, Rocco, I messed up his last name earlier. My apologies again. And also with, not Brian, with Brad. Brad. Uh, I was on with them earlier. And 
they, they it was a great time. So shout out to them. That they it was, I had a lot of fun on that show. But my guy KO Kevin Ostriker was talking about how with the Ravens they've been doing things differently uh, this year when it's come to injuries, and I agree with him because. They have they really been extra patient. And he's, he said it, he's, it almost feels like there's been a philosophy change with how they've approached injuries. And that's because it has been. It hasn't been the rushing back. Like with Mark Andrews and years previous to this one, oh, they would have been like, no, Mark Andrews, get out there quick, fast, and in a hurry. But I think something that's definitely helped them, obviously something that's definitely helped them with not rushing back Mark Andrews has been Isaiah Likely. Because Isaiah Likely has been amazing. Isaiah Likely has been one of them guys. He is like that right now. And I, I said this before, and I'll say it again. I do truly believe it, that Isaiah Likely, had he got the opportunity, we know with the Baltimore Ravens, he would not have gotten the opportunity, but had he got the opportunity to start the season, he'd be a top five, top ten tight end. At, top ten at the least. At the least. At the least. And that, that almost felt like that would be lowballing him. But Isaiah Likely has been nothing short of amazing, man. No, nothing short of amazing. Um, but so with, with him, the way that he's been playing, that's allowed the Ravens to have put less pressure on themselves for Mark Andrews to come back. That's allowed them to just sit back and be like, oh, oh no, Isaiah Likely, he got this. And this is why I do feel, I do believe that even when Mark Andrews does come back and he is expected to play in this game, Ian Rappaport reported on that early this morning, that Mark Andrews is expected to play in this game. They said it was always, the, the target day was always the AFC Championship. But... I still do believe, and, and I'm sure most of y'all will agree too, but Isaiah likely should remain the starter. He should remain the number one tight end. He, he should remain their top tight end for their offense. Mark Andrews, as, as painful as it may be, as humbling as it may be, Mark Andrews, he would need to sort of be on the back burner. Or uh, second string tight end, you get what I'm saying. Like He's not the focal point at tight end for the Baltimore Ravens. Still could be a contributor now. That doesn't mean like, oh, Mark Andrews, you go sit your butt down over there on that bench right now, buddy. No, he's still going to be out there. He ain't going to be out there 100%. I don't expect that. But I'm sure he'll be on uh, maybe not necessarily a snap count, but it'll just it, he'll be out there, but he won't be out there full time. I don't expect him to be out there full time. So, yeah, I guess a snap count or whatnot. But um, this is Isaiah Likely's. He, he's the guy right now at tight end. Again, Mark, can come in, contribute, come do your thing, especially in the red zone. Hey, but... This is Isaiah Likely's time right now. But having Mark back makes life easier for Lamar Jackson, gives him yet another option uh, at pass catch and another quality option at pass catch. And that's been such a difference this year with these Baltimore Ravens. They've just had a plethora of pass catches and uh, quality pass catches. And quality makes such a huge difference uh, because it changes literally everything. Now, speaking of changes and speaking of um injuries uh there were some guys that were still missing uh and two guys that missed practice today uh with tylen wallace and he missed practice last week too uh but also kevin zeitler kevin zeitler ravens right guard all offensive lineman and with him missing practice um it could be a little cause for concern but at the same time not too much one because he could come back tomorrow he could come back friday he got all the experience in the world he knows how to play he knows what to do um, so if he comes back either one of those two days, okay, cool, straight. Um, I think Jeff Zrebic said he was possibly dealing with like a knee injury uh, on Saturday against the Texans. So we'll see how that goes tomorrow. But another reason why I don't think the Ravens need to fear or even Ravens fans need to fear because of big country, Ben Cleveland. Ben Cleveland, um, this year, it started off a little bit rocky for him. Start, well, not, I mean, not even this year. This, uh, his career started off a little bit rocky. Especially with that whole Ravens conditioning test and all that mess that was happening. It started off shaky, but he's quietly got things together. And when he's had to fill in before for Kevin Zeitler, he's done a good job. He's done a good job. And there was, in my opinion, there was not any drop off. So shout out to Ben Cleveland and also shout out to his counterparts on the offensive line because you know the offensive line is like a chain. If one chain breaks or one link is weaker, it's up to them other ones to pick them up. It's up to the other ones to try to make it as strong as they possibly can. Um, and with Ben Cleveland to his left, it will be Tyler Linderbaum, Linda Flinder. And to his right, it will be Morgan Moses. And then sometimes, of course, Daniel Falele when Ravens, you know, Ravens like doing their whole rotation on the offensive line. Um, so, yeah, man, we'll, so we'll see. We'll see. Tomorrow and Friday, 
again, they will tell the rest of the story when it comes to that. But this Saturday, big, I'm, I'm tripping. It was Saturday last week. It's, it's Sunday this week. Ain't no more Saturday games. That's it. This is the final four. This is the final four. And as a Ravens fan, it is just so great to be able to say that. We are here in the final four. That's it. There have been 28 teams that have been eliminated from the postseason. Some, when the postseason first started, they were eliminated. Some, they got in the postseason and they ended up getting eliminated. But there are four teams left out of 32. And after Sunday's games, there will only be two teams left. And those two teams will face each other in the Super Bowl. This is just, it's crazy to think about. It's crazy to think about. And Ravens are one of those four teams left right here in the final four. And if all goes well, like it should, could be some struggles here and there. I'm sure there will be some struggles here and there because Chiefs are, again, a tough team. And they've been here, done that before. They ain't been here, done it in an away game, but they've been here, done that before with the AFC Championship experience. But if Ravens take care of their business they handle it like they should, if they do everything that's required of them, then they will be one of those two teams that head to the Super Bowl team. Keep it clean. It's, this is going to be exciting, man. It, it's, today is Wednesday, so it, it ain't hit me yet. I'm, I'm sure maybe some of y'all are the same. I don't know. But I know come Saturday, it'll start getting a little crazy. But Sunday morning, ooh, Sunday morning going to be crazy. Because you're just going to be thinking about it. It consumes your mind and stuff. You're like, oh, man, this game. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, but for any of y'all that are going, enjoy it. Enjoy it, enjoy it, enjoy it. One of my guys uh, who've been supporting the channel for years, which I really appreciate, the Smithy Boy, he had posted a screenshot that he bought him and his mom tickets to this game for, I think, like $5,300 for two tickets. So, you could look at that and be like, oh, yeah, that's a lot of money, which it is a significant amount of money, but you can always get money back. You can always get money back. Money comes and goes. Money is not everything, but having an experience like this. Now, we, of course, hopeful, hopeful to have more experiences like this, more AFC Championship games uh, at the crib, but this experience will be amazing for him, for his mom, for everybody attending. So I, I love the fact that so many of y'all are going. I love seeing the comments where everybody says, oh, yeah, I'm going to the game. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be loud and all that stuff. I love it because it makes me happy. It makes a lot of us happy, man. We, we happy for y'all that y'all are going to be going. Y'all enjoy yourselves. Enjoy the game. Enjoy the moments. Enjoy the time. And enjoy the Ravens. And let's hope that we can enjoy them going all the way to the Super Bowl and then taking care of business there as well. But everything starts first. This Sunday against the Chiefs.